gentle shoulder parts. Hi, welcome to Crunch. Uh, good to see you. So I'm Wayne, one of the team members here, and as you can see, one of the things I like to do is play FIFA along with my colleague Jenny. So today's lesson is all about me. So we're going to look at what your interests is, what your hobbies are, what your likes and your dislikes. Now, for me, one of my likes is playing FIFA. And as you can see, I'm wearing my team top on of the team that I support, Man United. I've been a Man United supporter for many years. My favorite player right now is Marcus Rashford. Some of the other things that I enjoy doing is when I'm not here at work, I enjoy cooking at home, I enjoy socializing with friends, TV, binge watching with my wife on, TV, on favorite TV shows that we like to watch. And yeah, when I'm not at home, some of the other things I enjoy doing as well is I've been to several different countries around the world. And interesting fact actually, I went to two countries a few years ago where I got caught up in a hurricane. And that was in Florida and that was in Grenada. Interesting fact, isn't it? Imagine going abroad and then the first thing you find out that there's a hurricane coming into the country that you're currently staying in. That's what happened to me. So today's lesson, we're going to be looking at all about me. So it's about the things that you enjoy, what your interests are, your hobbies, your likes and your dislikes. Thank you. So today's lesson, as I mentioned earlier, is all about me, the things that you enjoy doing, what's your hobbies, your interests, your likes and dislikes. One of my likes is making one of my favourite breakfast meals, beans on toast. And in front of me, I've got all the ingredients and utensils needed to prepare my beans on toast. So we're going to be putting up on the screen for you what you're going to need at home to make your own beans on toast. So the first thing we're going to be needing to make beans on toast is making sure that you have your slice of bread. Now you want to make sure if you've got a toaster at home that you you put it into your toaster and I would recommend that you leave it on in the toaster for three minutes. The next thing you're going to now then need, I've got prepared here, a bowl of beans inside of here and I'm going to be putting it into the microwave just over here. So, you want to make sure that you put that on for one minute exactly. You don't need it on any longer than that and I would also recommend you don't need to use the whole can of beans to put into the bowl if you're just preparing this for yourself. Just a small amount will do it and one minute is more than enough. So now I have prepared my toast exactly for three minutes and what I need is my knife and my butter and I'm just gonna get whatever amount of butter you like. You may not like butter at all on your toast that's fine But as for me, I'm a bit of a butter man. <laughs> so, now that I have prepared my toast, now what I'm going to do is make sure you've got your plate on your, put your toast on the plate, and I've already prepared my beans from out of the microwave for exactly one minute, which is nice and hot. Right. Voila, and there you have it, beans and toast. Very simple to make, but it's definitely one of my favorite meals that I like. Also, why not, whilst you're preparing this, get some pictures taken. If, 
if possible, and have them sent over to us. We'll put our email address at the end of this lesson. And it'd be great to see, you know, how your beans and toast came out. We'd love to get your feedback. So now that you have made your beans and toast, and I've made mine, the best part of this is the eating. Bon appetit. Welcome. Today you will practice with me how to learn meditation. Meditation is being done by millions of people around the world and has been used for many centuries as a way of staying positive and well in life. At times whilst listening to my voice, I will go quiet sometimes for about 10 seconds. The purpose to this is because of questions I will ask and you will need time to think or feel through each question. Are you ready to begin? Let's do this. Find a quiet place at home for five minutes. Away from other people talking, removing yourself away from the sound of the TV or a song being played. We are going to practice being quiet. Find a comfortable position, whether sitting on the floor, cross-legged or on a chair sat up straight or lying flat on your back on your bed or the floor. Have a cushion, blanket or both if you prefer. Then place both hands on your stomach, feeling yourself breathing. Take a look if you want as you see your tummy going up and down. Now slowly begin to close your eyes if you want. Now I want you to take five deep breaths, breathing through your nose, and breathe out through your mouth. So listen and follow me. Imagine that you are breathing the sweetest smell you enjoy. This can be the smell of chocolate cake, your favourite sweet or your favourite meal. When you breathe out, imagine you are letting go of something that has made you feel upset. Whatever that is for you, picture it and allow it to elite to leave you and watch it fly away like a balloon into the sky. Now let your breathing return to normal, still keeping your hands on your stomach. Now pay attention to the sounds and smells around you. What do you hear? What can you smell?
This is you learning to be mindful of what is taking place around you. How do you feel at this time? I hope you are beginning to feel relaxed, feeling the weight of your body in whatever position you are in, lying down or sitting up, sinking comfortably into where you are. What you are doing is allowing your muscles to relax. For a moment, be aware of the muscles in your body. Are you feeling tense? If so, allow your muscles to sink into your chair or if lying on the floor. What is on your mind right now? It's okay if there is nothing or something that doesn't make sense, or it could be a reminder of something you have done or to do. That's okay. Allow your mind to roam for a while. Now bring your mind gently back to my voice. How is your breathing? Is it deep or shallow? Take a listen. This is fine. Each of us breathe differently. Do you feel relaxed? Does your mind feel clear? If you're not feeling relaxed or clear in your mind, this too is fine. Meditation is a, takes practice and patience and you will then discover the benefit it brings if you continually practice at it. Now I will count to three and then slowly open your eyes and gently look around you and take in your surroundings. Sit or stand up slowly and stretch up high. How did this feel for you? You can talk to the person with you be at school or home to share your experience. By the way, it's okay if it felt strange or even made you giggle. This is fine. What is important that you gave this a go and hopefully you will try again. Meditation has amazing benefits if you continue to practice. Thank you for doing this meditation with me. So one of the favourite things I enjoy doing is playing a game of ball. It's something I just really have enjoyed from since I've been in my teens. So I'm going to walk you through how to set up playing ball. So the first thing you're going to need is a triangle. Now the triangle is here to put all the balls into place. So I'll just watch how I go about doing it. So what I'll do is just come to the end of the table now you notice I've lifted up a flap. Now on this flap you might not be able to see, but there's actually a diagram on here to show me how to set the balls up in the correct way. So what you want to do is get all your balls out of place, put them into the triangle. It doesn't matter what way they go in, because as I said, there's a diagram on the table to show you how to set them up. So what I'm going to do is just look at the diagram, follow it through, and make sure that all the balls are in the correct formation. And there we have it. So the next thing I'm going to do is now put the balls into the exact place where I want them to go on the table. Now, to help me, I will take out the black ball and right underneath it, 
there is a mark on the table that shows me exactly where this board in particular needs to go. And once I've placed it there, then everything is now centered for all the boards to be in place. I'll remove the triangle off now that it's kept it all together in place. And now I'm going to get the cue stick that I need in order to start the game. So what I'll do now is come around to this side of the table, you get your white ball out from the, from the pocket down there. You can place the ball anywhere you like behind the line that is on the table. Right, let's see how I get on with my first shot. Oh, it's got me one. Right. What you don't want to do is put the white ball down the table on your first shot because otherwise it just is committed as a foul. Not a great way to start my game. So, I'd like to introduce you to one of the team members here. This is Mark. Hi, Mark. And Mark has agreed to join me to play a game of pool, and we're gonna see who wins, because I'm quite competitive. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark's gonna take his first shot. No pressure, Mark. Feeling it. I'm shaking. <coughs> oh, that was close. Now, what I'm going to do is just follow on from where Mark tried to go on to and uh, take my shot. Sorry, Mark. It's okay. <laughs> Show it. <up. laughs> now, what I just did there was a little bit of showing up. That takes some practice to do. There's a book in the Q stick behind your back. And here's the thing when you're playing pool, when you put a colour down, you get another goal in automatically, so you carry on taking your turn. And it all depends on what happens on this next shot. And as you can see, that didn't work out well for me, so I go over to you. I get to have a go. And what colour are you going for now, Mark? It has to be red, so I don't think. So that's how you play a game of pool. I enjoy playing that game with Mark, and I hope to hear from you guys soon as to what you enjoy doing, as we're going to be sending worksheets provided with these lessons to know more about what you enjoy doing, your hobbies, your interests and likes. Thank you for joining me.